every home cook needs a delicious, savory chicken noodle soup in her tool belt. And we're going to do that today. We're going to have a cozy cup of absolute happiness when we're finished. Now, get ready because this flavorful journey is going to show you the secret to making the most comforting cup of goodness ever. You're going to have a perfectly cooked piece of chicken and you're going to add aromatics to that pot and we're just going to get through it step by step. And on the way we're going to have a little conversation and talk about a few things because that's what home cooks do. So grab your apron, get a beverage to drink, and let's cook up something that's going to be absolutely delicious. And while you're here, don't forget, if you're not a family member, please be sure to subscribe. And certainly, don't forget to hit that like button and give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Let's get started. Well, let me say that summer is not over yet, but we want to practice some of those things that we're going to use during the fall and the winter. And particularly, one school kicks back into session. So, I'm using my trusty crock pot. And this crock pot has certainly been around quite a while. So, um, as you can see, it's about a three and a half quart crock pot, which is just perfect for tonight's meal. Now, in this crock pot, when I went in the refrigerator, I found that I had some diced onions, but not enough. So we're going to use these that we had that were already diced. And i got one little piece that needs to be diced. I'm going to add that in first. And uh, then we're going to dice up a few more. When I have little pieces of onion, I usually put them into a Ziploc bag with a paper towel because that paper towel helps to draw out a little bit of the moisture and also helps to keep some of the fragrance of the onion down. So we're going to chop this onion very thinly because I really want the onion to somewhat dissolve into the dish. So I've got my onions, I've chopped them in half, and these are little, like I said, they're just little knobs of onions that I just happen to have. So I'm going to get those chopped. I want them as small as possible. And then we'll finish giving them a little rough chop and we'll get everybody into this soup pot. So there's our, that little piece of an onion. And I have one more piece of an onion that we're going to use because most soups begin with a base of onion because onion has a lot of flavor. I'm going to take the end off of that, cut these in little thin slices, okay, then I'm going to pile all of those together. And we're going to give all of this a really nice chop, a thin chop. They're nice and cold. And because they're nice and cold also, that keeps the onion from making you cry. Now we're just going to give all of that a good chop. Like I said, we do not want to get a big chunk of onion as we're eating our soup. We want to make sure that that onion has time and it will in the slow cooker. Now I'm doing this early in the morning so that by the time I come back this evening, everything will be ready. There we go. There's our other piece of onion that we're going to add to our crock pot. Oh, 
All right, so really that was really equivalent to about one whole onion that we've chopped. Now, I also, like I said, I have one chicken breast and I had a package of chicken breast and uh, I, this was the one I didn't use. So I'm just gonna take this, not even gonna touch it. I'm gonna put it right here into our crock pot. Voila. I've got the bag from the onion, the bag from the chicken. All of this is going to go into the garbage. And we'll keep things clean. I'm gonna hold on to that for just a few minutes. Now it's time to add some spice. And I'm gonna begin with our most basic spice, which is gonna be salt and pepper. And I'm gonna be careful with the salt because we just don't like a lot of salt. So I'm gonna put in for now, just one teaspoon of salt. Now I will probably need to add more, but you, all, you can always add more, but you can never take away. So start a little light and then go back and you can add more. So that's one teaspoon and I'm using pink Himalayan. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of black pepper. And that's a coarse grind black pepper. I'm also gonna add in some garlic. And this is granulated garlic. I'm gonna add in at least a teaspoon of granulated garlic. I'm gonna say a teaspoon and a half because we like garlic. And that's in. And you notice I have a spoon just for the garlic because we use it that much. I'm gonna add a pinch of red pepper flakes because those red peppers are just gonna add a little special hit in the back, just a pinch. They're not there to add heat. It's there to add flavor, one pinch. But for a container this large, you'll never know they're in there. Okay, I'm also gonna add in some parsley. And this is dehydrated parsley that I actually dehydrated myself. And I'm gonna put in a heaping teaspoon of dehydrated parsley because that's gonna be a good taste as well. Now, I think I might have a little bit of rosemary that I'm gonna add into this as well. Then I'm going to fill this pot with nice cold water so that uh, we're gonna get lots and lots of broth because later I'm going to, I haven't decided, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a chicken noodle or whether I'm gonna do a chicken with rice. But either way, we're gonna need the water. I'm going to fill this pot with nice cold water so that uh, we're gonna get lots and lots of broth because later I'm going to, I haven't decided, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a chicken noodle or whether I'm going to do a chicken with rice. But either way, we're going to need the water. You would not believe all of the benefits of chicken noodle soup. And I'm going to talk about a few. You know, there are those days when you're feeling under the weather. And all you can crave is just a nice, warm cup of chicken noodle soup. And guess what? It's not just your taste buds that's craving the chicken noodle soup, but it's also your immune system that's looking for that hit because the broth of the chicken noodle soup is packed with vitamins and minerals and amino acids that give your system the boost it needs to fend off your colds and flus. We are slow cooking this chicken noodle soup because we want to draw out all of the nutrients that we possibly can. And we want to talk about the fact that that one chicken breast is going to impart protein 
to this mixture, which is a benefit for our body, along with the fact that that, 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 that medley of vegetables is just full of nutrients. And so they're going to bring along fiber and vitamins to your body. Also, sometimes you just need a little chicken noodle soup to give you a little boost when you're feeling down or you're stressed. Or it may be that chicken noodle soup just brings back warm memories. And if that's the case, get your cup ready. When do you crave chicken noodle soup the most? Is it when you're thirsty? Is it when you're stressed? Is it when you're just down in the dumps? Keep in mind, chicken noodle soup is very beneficial. It hydrates the body, it adds warmth to your system, and most of all, it makes your stomach happy because it does not cause heaviness when your body's trying to digest it. And that's the main reason why chicken noodle soup is given to those who are trying to heal, particularly when you're trying to get over a cold or the flu. I guess I knew this, but I never really put it all together. But think about this. Chicken noodle soup hydrates the body because of the fact that it has such a large amount of water that's coming both from the quality of the broth and the broth itself as well as the moisture from the vegetables that we've added. Um, stay, you know, staying hydrated is a major issue for all of us. We try to drink plenty of water in order to remain hydrated because that's what our body needs. And why not have hydrated liquids that are bursting with flavor? Another thing is that our digestion is important. And chicken noodle soup has is very gentle to your body. It's gentle to your stomach. And it's very easy for your stomach to break down and absorb the nutrients in the chicken noodle soup. So you can have a bowl or a cup of chicken noodle soup and you won't feel heavy. What are some of the things that you do to make your chicken broth? And how often do you make your chicken broth right there in your slow cooker? That's something that we should do all the time. I'm going to remove the chicken from this crock pot. And the reason for that, you'll be able to see that uh, it has developed a very delicious broth down in this crock. And certainly, if I were just going to keep just broth, then I would put it through a strainer so that I could take out any particular matter that might be floating around in it. But since we're preparing a soup, we want to make sure that... Um, it's going to be absolutely delicious. Now, as you can see, I have added a little bit more water to it. And the reason for that is because I know I'm going to place the pasta into this pot. And, I, and it will not be cooked. I'm going to take it straight out of the container and put it into the pot. So because of that, the pasta is going to soak up quite a bit of that liquid. And uh, we're going to cut this chicken up so that it's in little nice bite-sized pieces. And I'll add it back into the crock pot. I, this is also the time that I'm going to add in the uh, mixed vegetables. And even before that, I'm going to give it a taste because I want to make sure that we have enough flavor. Now, if it doesn't, then I'll add some, some type of broth. And you know, I like better than chicken broth and uh, better than bouillon broth. And so because of that, I'll probably add uh, at least a tablespoon, maybe two, 
but we'll start with one. Once I've added all of the chopped up chicken to the crock pot, then I'm going to let this continue to cook about another three hours. And at the end of those three hours, I'll go ahead, add a couple of handfuls of pasta, and let that cook, cook and simmer another half an hour to 40 minutes, however long it takes for that pasta to get nice and tender. And then, we are ready to have soup. I looked at my soup and I thought, okay, no one has a cold. So because of that, I'm going to add one entire can of cream of mushroom soup. You could certainly use cream of chicken, but I like cream of mushroom just because we like mushrooms and it's going to give this soup the creaminess that I think it needs. We have prepared a nice, nice crock pot full of creamy, savory chicken noodle soup that you are going to want to prepare for your family. I promise you, it is delicious, it's nutritious, it is savory, and you know what? It just has that knack of comforting your tummy. So let's be sure to make that cup of soup and have it ready anytime you need it. I hope you'll come back to, the, to Ebony Ivy in time because we love having you here. And you know what? Give me some suggestions as to how you prepare your chicken noodle soup. Is it something you do often? Is it something you do and then freeze it? Let me know down in the description box. Have fun and have a blessed.